In November and December of 2009, with support from the MacArthur Foundation, Patrick Vink of the Human Rights Center at the UC Berkeley School of Law and a group of 20 locally trained interviewers conducted a survey in the Central African Republic on issues of transitioning from war to peace. The idea at the beginning was really to inform uh, investments, how money is spent, how uh, uh, organizations that are working in transitional justice, uh, in broader transition from war to peace setting, um, how they are investing their money. And the idea was that uh, if we don't ask the people, we won't know what works best for them. Uh, so one of the pieces of information that was useful was just to collect information from large segments of the population about what they've experienced, uh, how it affects them, and what they would like to see happen in, in the future. The survey, including nearly 2,000 people in over 117 villages and neighborhoods, were conducted using a newly developed PDA device which allowed interviewers to collect and transmit information electronically. The PDA really helped us streamlining and make that process easier. Overall, it is the same cost, it is the same time uh, as paper-based survey, but the PDA helped us go faster from the moment we do an interview to the moment we analyze the results from uh, those interviews. The use of the PDA to conduct the survey represents a larger effort to find applications for new technologies in the field of human rights. As long as they are familiar with cell phones, people can use the PDA. They are in fact so simple to use that you just hand it to somebody in about five minutes they know how to answer the questions and how to use the survey. The data themselves can be emailed directly from the cell phone to a central location or they can be centralized to a computer. They are fully encrypted so they cannot fall into the, 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 the wrong hands. So the, the technology really has allowed us to be much more comfortable working in the field in terms of the risks uh, that are inherent to the type of questions and the type of data we are collecting. The Central African Republic has experienced political instability and violence since gaining independence from France in 1960. Stabilizing the country is part of a larger regional security challenge in Africa, which also includes the Democratic Republic of Congo, Uganda, and Sudan's Darfur region. The International Criminal Court the first permanent world court to hold individuals accountable for the worst human rights abuses, is investigating crimes committed in the Central African Republic between late 2002 and early 2003. Jean-Pierre Bemba, a former rebel leader, has been arrested and charged by the ICC with committing war crimes and crimes against humanity in the country during that period. He will likely go on trial this year. The uh, Central African Republic was of interest for us um, for a range of reasons. We first then went there about uh, four months before the actual survey. And while there we survey what kind of information is available. What do we know about the, the, the conflict, about the impact of the conflict? What do we know about the voice of the population? And in the Central African Republic what we realize is that nothing. We, we don't know anything. The idea of a population-based survey and the way we do it is that we ask questions on a quite wide range of issues that focus on transition from war to peace. Um, and one part of that is understanding what the people have experienced. So by doing this kind of survey, we are actually bringing a voice to the community. And the community can tell us, as in CAR, no, we do not feel comfortable sharing a drink with former combatants. How then do we engage with the community to make the reintegration a more successful reintegration? So the element that we're bringing is information, opening a discussion, so that uh, the policies that are set forth not only are focused on what we know about reintegration from the combatant side, but also on the community side.